diabetes in pregnancy. Diabetes in pregnancy, known as gestational diabetes, develops in some pregnant women. They will have high blood sugars, which can affect the baby inside. This type of diabetes lasts through pregnancy and normally goes away after the baby is born. Women with gestational diabetes may have more complications and their babies tend to grow extra large, making birth more difficult. If you have diabetes in pregnancy, plan to birth in a hospital in case you need a cesarean delivery. Most babies are born healthy, though some may have low blood sugar or breathing problems, so will need to be watched closely for a few hours after birth. Diabetes in pregnancy typically doesn't have any symptoms. It's important to get your blood sugar tested at your first antenatal visit. Then, at around your sixth month of pregnancy, a special test called an oral glucose tolerance test is done. Arrive to the clinic in the morning before eating or drinking anything except water. They'll draw your blood, then give you a special sugary drink. In one hour, they will draw more blood, and again in two hours. If your blood sugar is too high, you have gestational diabetes. If you have a normal result, but are at risk for gestational diabetes, you should be tested again at seven to eight months. If you have gestational diabetes, this may worry you, but there are things you can do to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. First, eat healthy foods. Eat a variety of healthy foods low in sugar. Avoid sweets, sugary drinks, processed foods, and white flour. These foods put too much sugar into your blood, as well as making your body put on extra fat. To get the best nutrition for a healthy pregnancy, eat a variety of fresh vegetables, beans or legumes, healthy protein such as chicken, fish, dairy products or eggs, and whole grains. It's easy to eat more food than you need without realizing it. Use a small plate, about the size of your outstretched hand. Fill half with non-starchy vegetables, a quarter with healthy starch, and a quarter with lean, protein-rich foods. Each day, eat three small meals, plus two snacks, and drink plenty of water. Tea and coffee are also fine without added sugar. Next, get physical activity. Being active is very important to keep your blood sugar in a healthy range. Try to get a half hour of moderately intense physical activity every day, such as brisk walking, especially after meals. Strength exercises for the upper body are also very beneficial and safe throughout pregnancy. Then, monitor your blood sugar. Your blood sugar should be closely followed at your clinic. You may also be able to test it at home using a meter. Test before breakfast and at one hour after each meal. Target levels during pregnancy are before breakfast less than 90 and one hour after eating less than 140. You may need to take insulin. 
If you don't reach your blood sugar goals through changes in food and physical activity over a two-week period, insulin is often the next step to help keep your blood sugar in a healthy range. It's normal to be afraid of giving yourself a shot, but the needles are so thin and short they are barely felt. After your baby is born, plan to breastfeed. Breastfeed as soon as you can after delivery and then every two to three hours, day and night, as often as your baby is hungry. Breastfeeding lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes and helps you lose the weight you put on during pregnancy. The longer you breastfeed, the better. Breastfeeding beyond two months lowers your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by half. Breastfeeding beyond five months lowers it even more. Breastfeeding also reduces the risk of your baby getting diabetes later in life. Get tested for diabetes after pregnancy. Have your blood sugar tested for diabetes 6 to 12 weeks after your baby is born and then every few years. For most women, the diabetes goes away soon after delivery. Later in life though, many women who had diabetes in pregnancy develop type 2 diabetes. To reduce your chances, it's important to continue to eat a healthy diet and get regular daily activity. Remember, if you have diabetes in pregnancy, you can have a healthy baby. The diabetes normally goes away. Breastfeeding helps protect you and your baby from diabetes later in life.